Hey everyone, Victor Atlasman here, Director and Lead Engineer of Charging Ecosystems Energy Storage here at New. And I want to talk about the news you probably heard about lately. So Ford, interestingly, is going with NACS. That's the Tesla standard for the fast charging. They're walking away from CCS, and what's really interesting is why. So we're looking back, being in the industry, trying to identify what are the reasonings for why a particular standard was superseded by another standard. And so let's go back to the days of Chatamo. Chatamo was the predominant charging standard when electric vehicles started to come out with Mitsubishi i or Nissan Leaf, for example. They used both the J-plug, J1772, as well as the Chatamo plug. As soon as CCS started coming around and adapted part of the J1772 standard, you started to see that to become the predominant uh, charging standard that existed, and everybody started to adopt that. Now, GM is also going into the running using NACS on their systems. And what's interesting is we have to take a look at this as kind of a, a holistic approach for what the charging infrastructure is going to look like. Now, interestingly, the reason why uh, Tesla or everybody likes the NACS standard isn't particularly because of the reliability. And a lot of that has to do with the quality control their products as well as the interoperability. The charger ports and the charger stations were made using uh, Tesla's systems and um, tolerances built into it. And then when you take a look at CCS, you can have different manufacturers make from, let's say, ICT Canon versus Brew uh, versus Amphenol, all making these different connectors, and they don't all fit perfectly. And that has a big effect when it comes to reliability. Also, you, when you take a look back in the day, Chatamol was pretty big. And then you have CCS, which is a little bit smaller, and now you have NACS, which is even smaller. And they both can provide power up towards, towards a megawatt uh, worth of energy. Granted, over here, this cable, it looks like it's a 50 kilowatt cable, can actually push close to a megawatt worth of power. We can at least, we've proven, push uh, continuously over 700 kilowatts with this cable. And so what's interesting is the fact that the standard is constantly evolving and it's constantly getting better and faster. Smaller, simpler, sleeker, lighter. And so that's why we talked about it before. Our new standard over here is designed to support both high powered megawatt charging as well as AC charging using three phases, which the other standard does not uh, do, um, and be able to be backwards and legacy compatible, meaning that it's gonna be as light as the cable over here, about approximately the same size, and be able to push upwards way past the megawatt. Uh, and interestingly, it will be backwards compatible, as I mentioned, and be able to support CCS, NECS, and all the other standards that are necessary using one single plug. Not too far off how other companies do it, let's say, like the Magic Dock, let's say, or even EVgo, how they have, uh, we call it the hula hoop uh, with a bunch of different cables. But simplicity and user experience is what we aim after. And on that note, I have a lot of work to do, so I'm out.